And I almost forgot there's one more bonus, so let's take a look inside. So far we have been coding with the help of Avacode web app that runs in the browser. In this class I'd like to tell you a bit about the benefits of using the Avacode desktop app. So if you'd like to download the Avacode desktop app, just go to avacode.com download and then choose the platform if you're on Windows, Mac or Linux. I'm currently on Mac, so I'm gonna leave it on Mac OS. And before we download, you can see that uh, the desktop app also works with some plugins. We have the Photoshop plugin, Sketch plugin and Illustrator plugin. Obviously, you have already seen that uh, you can import design files to Avoco directly just by drag and dropping. But uh, if you like, you can also sync them directly from Photoshop, Sketch, Illustrator, and actually also from XD and Figma. So let's continue to download. Up next, go to your downloads folder. And here you can see that you have downloaded this file. Just double click on it. And then move it to your applications. All right, Avocode is now in your applications folder. So just double click to open it and then log in. You can also log in using the browser since you have been logged in before. Just say authorize application. You can see our design is already here. When you open the design file, you can see that it's quite faster than in the web app. And additionally, if you go back and you have already opened it, you're going to see a little icon that says available offline. So even when you lose your internet connection, you will be actually able to open and inspect your design files that were already downloaded. Another benefit of the Avaco desktop app is that you can actually change the export path of your image assets. Normally it's set to downloads, but you can change it by going to your project, hit settings, and here you can adjust it to the path where our project is by default. Let's open the design. Then when you double click on an asset to export it, you can see that the export goes to web with Avacode and you can even specify that further, actually on the level of each exported asset. Just click on this button and here you can see that I have created this little folder called IMG. Let's select it, open, and when you hit export, the asset will be saved there. You can see that it's already here. Perfect. So since you have already installed Avacode on your desktop and you have a sketch installed on your computer as well, the plugin has been automatically installed. So just select an artboard and hit Command J and you can see that it will be sent to the project that says Coffee Bar. Here you can actually change the project name and since this design is already there, it says that one design will be updated. If you hit to add to coffee bar, the design will automatically import. And you can also create a new project where you can import the design. So let's call it a peach project. When you go back to the peachy project, you can see that the design is already there. So you can just open it and it's already here. Just like in Sketch, in XD, you can export all artboards at once. But if you want to exclude some artboard, let's say this one, for example, you can simply remove it by adding a dash or underline in front of its name. This means that this artboard will not be synced with the rest of the file. Now, just press Option Command E. Avocode will open up and 
since we were already in the Peachy project, it will suggest you to add the design here as well. So let's hit Add. And you can see the design is already being imported. Okay, so the upload finished. The design is here. And you can see that all artboards have been imported properly. When you double click on an artboard, it will be opened in Code, and you can start inspecting it. Just like this, you can also import Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator files. At the end of the day, it's up to you if you choose to drag and drop the design to import it or if you'd like to sync it from the design tool. The last feature from the Avaco desktop app that I'd like to show you is the tool that's called a pixel checker. You can find it right here. And by clicking on this button, Avacode will show you an expandable window of the design. It's transparent, so you can, you know, see what's below. You can resize it. You can turn off background and turn it on, and you can pin it. This feature is very useful when you want to compare the design against your coded result. I hope this lesson was useful for you. And if you'd like to take advantage of the Avaco desktop app, just go to avaco.com download.